Hey guys, it's Ace Conditioner, and welcome back for more Genshin Impact Our Conquest Story. Last time, we completed the main story of Sumeru with Sumeru Act 5, and we. The, the list of, we took down Scaramouche and the and the false god Scaramouche and his Evangelion style mech. But we weren't able to stop the toilet's plans and he got away with two Gnosis, the Electro and Dendro Gnosis. But we were able to help Nahida cure Elzar for good at a cost of disappearing, of making Rukadavata disappear from existence of everybody's memories. Which makes Nahida the. And I guess I'm prompt to original Dendro Archon. As now he does technically a clone of Ruka Devata. Technically, it is complicated. But in long story short, we save Sumeru for now. This time we're gonna be taking on the quest regarding the aftermath of what just happened. Because we also got a lot of information that we need to clarify that includes me being a descender, but my but the abyss twit sibling is not, which is weird. And what what's up with Scaramouche right now? Because apparently he is in a coma by this point. As you can see, he's gonna be the focus of this now. I want to preface this with my reasoning on why there was a lack of uploads as of late. The Act Five. I I said like last time with Act Five. I'm gonna upload this. Knowing that I cannot upload Act Five yet, and the reason why is because the reason why, and and also the main reason why I kept I kept myself for the longest time, other than just a few people that knows, um, my Act Five recording got corrupted. The audio was completely fine, except the last few minutes got the last few like thirty minutes got cut completely. Like I got like I have the audio up to the point where Nahida confronts the Tode. I go to there. But the but the video was broken. And mainly and I was confused about why. Because I never had that problem with OBS before. The reason why was because the recent OBS update, OBS 20 28.1. I think one was a broken update that they had to patch. Because everybody because I'm not the only one that had trouble with OBS, but everyone else did include especially with streaming. And that one problem that the OBS did, because I guess they were rushing or something like that. I don't know what the hell's going on there with them. It completely ruined my four hours of content that I had. Regarding Act 5. All of Act 5 is broken. Not just all of Act 5, but not he the story quest, the first that the first part of it was broken as well. But the second and the third part was fine. Because I had to re-record, re-record, make sure everything works fine before I actually did the final recording. And the test record as well. And test record for this, so hopefully this does not break. So here's my plan. This will come out first. And after that, whenever at the time, I'll catch up and upload Act 5 and not hate the store quest. I said it was broken, but I was able to salvage thanks to a thanks to a fellow Genshin player that I told that, that I told this to and he thankfully gave me footage. So my plan is I'm gonna be using his footage, but overlaying with my I'm just only gonna be using his footage and not his audio. And I'm gonna and for audio I'm gonna overlay mine because my audio was perfectly fine, but and his well his footage is fine as well. So I'm gonna try doing that in a way so I can salvage something of Act 5. So you're not gonna see my footage at all of Act 5 because I can't do anything about that because his footage is gone. Thanks to OBS's huge miscalculation. And I can't do anything about that. And I feel like it was an awesome mistake on them on their on their end as well. So I'm not trying to hold any ill will. But I'm gonna upload Act 5 a lot later than I planned. Which is why. Including I hate the store quest. But those will be called the lost episodes. Because I'm gonna cause I have an idea of how when I'm gonna upload those videos. And those numbers will be skipped, and this in this episode right here is going to be is is going to be the next is is going to be what would have been the next episode number after Nahida. Like I think I think I think the the most recent one my Archon quest right was Nilu, 
I'm gonna double check. Episode 37 was Neo's quest. So I think the Act 5 Arkham quest is gonna be like 5 episodes, not not either thing, it's gonna be like 3 episodes, right? So 8, so eight episodes total, right? So, this should be like episode either 45 or 46. While the other episodes that, uh, while the other numbers that are going to be the last episodes, that will be uploaded way later on. Because I don't want to, I don't want, because I, I don't want to mess that up at least. But I want to also record this. Also, the reason why I can't like, get the edit anytime soon, in addition to the fact that it was going to take a lot more editing to at least get Act 5 up, is because of the fact that I had finals. And that's why I was super del del delayed in uploads, which is also why I can't even upload um, the 3.2 events at all. Which I'm not planning on doing it at all by this point, because it's obsolete. And I wasn't even out, and I was super, um, I wasn't sure about if I wanted to record that episode, record that anyways in the first place. Only thing that you missed was the fact that there are some, like, hint or spontane, maybe. Especially if you're doing your involvement. And that's really it. Like, it's, it's interesting. But we got, but we're gonna see more Fontaine like hints. Way later down the line, it's gonna be way more significant. Lip Man gave a much bigger hint towards Fontaine 3.2 than the freaking event did. It was like basically open a Pokemon ripoff, to be fair. Let's be honest. But yeah. This time we're gonna be doing the into the chapter. Now, this was the one that I predicted. And I can record this as soon as possible, at like day one, because again, I have finals. I had finals when it was released, and I was bloody studying my ass off for those for, for the for those um, for those tests. So that's why I can do this all soon than I than I hoped. Because the after, after, after the aftermath of the final, and I want to make sure I can record this properly with having almost like no torture whatsoever, either coming from OBS or from, or external interruptions. So that's why I'm late, and because of that, I was spoiled just a bit because. Some people just cannot learn to shut up, right? Some people just can't learn to shut up and just censor the stuff they type on the Discord server if they know it's a spoiler. And they know that people on the Discord server probably don't want to see the spoiler. So I'll spoil it just a bit. Even my, one of my IRL friends actually spoiled me on this and they said it was not big of, a, big of a deal. When in reality, it is that big of a deal. So yes, I was spoiled on this and I'm kind of annoyed by that, but... Whatever. That's that's my punishment for being really late with this. I'm so like I was only given like a small hint of a spoiler. Like it isn't. It shouldn't be that big of a deal because I'm curious how we're gonna get to it. All I know is that this is gonna be related to Skarmouche. That's all I all I really know. Or the Wanderer, as a lot of people are gonna call it. So I'm very curious, right? Like I'm 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 very curious to see like how this is gonna go because. I said before on my Skarmage 3 video, go check out about if you haven't if you haven't already. That because And the thing is, the reason why I think you guys check that out, right? I'm not just trying to sell my like trying to do a shameless plug going over here. But it's because I didn't know just predict what was gonna happen with in 3.2. I predicted what was gonna happen with Skarmouche in 3.3, because I knew something was gonna happen with him in 3.3. Like that was just, that's just way too obvious. And I said it was going to be a his character store quest, or it's going to be an Archon quest. And lo and behold, it's an Archon quest, so I'm curious, because... Despite being an Archon quest, it's going to be a Shanta situation here, right? Shanta's um, main quest was an Archon quest, too. But there was also a major thing that actually happened that affected the entire world of Leeway. Case in point, the Jade Chamber got rebuilt. So I'm curious on what's going to happen here. Serious suggestions, please. I'm not trying to write a thriller here. It's supposed to be an essay, you understand? An essay. That means facts and logic. Well, if it's facts Yikes. and logic you're after, you shot yourself in the foot with your choice of research topic, didn't you? The Tataris Suna mystery. When so much okay. remains unexplained, there's little to be objective about. Unless, of course, you restrict yourself to textual criticism. So we are, so we're yeah, looking to think well, about the Tarasuna. This is the thing I knew about because of the special program. I can't change that. 
but it's fascinating enough without having to sensationalize it, don't you think? The strange location, the missing details, a mysterious person? Missing details? I want to write my essay on something interesting, and I'm interested in getting to what the missing bottom details? of all this. That's the only reason I came to you. Yes, you came to me. So all the more reason to take my advice. The fact is, it's the dramatization that will make people want to read it. There's no getting around that. Uh, okay, uh, but... Did one of them just mention Tatarasuna? But that's all the way I mean Azuma! Is it just Paimon or is it kind of unusual for someone in Sumeru to want to write a paper about that? Uh, everyone here is just going about their business. Maybe I mean... it is just Paimon. I guess people here are free to research pretty much anything. I was gonna say we've seen these similar scholars there for a Paimon. They can research about anything they want. It's not it's not new for these guys to research about something that's not in their nation at all. In fact, I feel like it'll be more common to see them research about something that's not in their nation. Case of point to Tarasuna. So let's go listen in. Great! Let's go find out what this Tatarasuna mystery is all about. Well what missing details though? Inversion of Genesis. I'm curious. Now I know but no, no the Tatarasuna thing was not a leak, it was something I saw in the special program where no, he just said Tatarasuna was sabotaged. And for all you guys want to know, the reason why this is so interesting is the fact that Tatarasuna is also where Skaramouche was pretty much first round, or at least somewhere nearby. He was found in Shack Cape Pavilion, as you guys know, on the island of Tatarasuna. But a lot of the events that he went through is in Tatarasuna. Very interesting. So I'm curious, like, how is this so... Like, I guess this is a connection with Scar... I guess this is a connection they're gonna have with Scar... That they're gonna discover about Skarmouche. But then again, they shouldn't know that much about Skarmouche at all. A lot of the stuff are just op are, are just um, optional stuff that you can right. read. I guess I'll go with my textual criticism and your editorial direction. You would events though. Draft. The best thing you should know about him is Kunikuzushin. That's it. The Mono will end up being the main focus of this paper. The Buki Mono. Um, I remember that's what Skarmouche called himself in the special program <sighs> or the trailer. If sorry. Only knew where to find that traveler. From what they say about him, this seems like the kind of thing he her. knows about. Wait, I'm sorry, her? Okay, that's the way being super suspicious that's gonna come get me, like, bite me, bite me in the ass, like, later on. Or that's just a serious mistranslation, because I'm a guy, thank you very much. I get a maybe, like, I, I guess it's a mistranslation, because you can always pick either either or me, technically. Weird. It says her and then he know about, so like, I, I guess it's a mistranslation. Uh, if you're looking for the Traveler, that's me. Oh, you're the Traveler, you say? Hmm. Mm, indeed. Hey, what's with that face? Don't believe us? If you don't believe me, I'll go. No, no, of course I believe you. Actually, I first heard about your great exploits when I was still in Inazuma. This is my first time coming face to face with you and your mysterious silver-haired companion. I couldn't they believe it. Always wrote to our silver is interesting. Habit, it's in, always silver. Uh, examining the evidence. Sorry. Maybe I'm looking at too much. So water for the love of. <laughs> Sorry, we don't get out much, so our social skills are kind of lacking. Oh, you're introverted. Cool. <laughs> uh, traveler, I hear you've helped many people a great deal and been to many places. Would you be able to tell us about Tatar? We shouldn't have any like canon information actually, about Tatar soon, actually. We don't know much about that place either. In fact, we only came we out of yeah. it because we heard you talking about it and wanted to learn more. Ah. Uh, if there's any, see. if there's any canon information that we should know about Inazuma, the most thing we should know is the, it's, the Raiden Shogun and the Plain of Yutaimya, Watasumi Island, Durumi Island, and that's it. We should not know. We should know almost nothing about the Tarasuna because those are all optional stuff, unless they've taken canon those optional major world quests into the store, which I last I checked they don't. They first they, they actually introduced that in a in a random archon quest I think or random point in the archon quest to connect it, which I'm curious. Are they gonna like how are they gonna canonize world quest stuff? 
Those last six checks, I feel like they've never canonized the world quest experience we've gone through. Only events, only events that we've gone through. Sorry, I can't help this time. My teacher chose this area of research as a personal challenge. He said it's difficult to get into because even Inazumans don't know much about Tatarasuna's past. But who'd have thought that? Uh... If you don't mind, I'd love to show you all my outline for the book I'm writing about Tatarasuna. I'm, I'm, almost, I'm glad that we're finally so getting to this. Don't you think that's a bit of a deep dive for a first read? Well, fair point. In that case, please ease yourselves in gently by taking a look at Akaba's latest essay draft. Let me give you some background. This all started with the discovery of some records in Tatarasuna. Ooh. The writings mentioned someone by the name of Mikoshi Nagamasa, who crafted a fire. Finally. Blade. Finally, we're looking into this backstory. He threw it into a fire to destroy it and killed his servant Katsurani. Wait. Why? Well, no one knows. He made a blade and but then he threw it into a fire and dis destroyed it. And he killed his servant Katsuragi. Now, I think the reason why he killed Katsuragi was because of the fact that Katsuragi tried to hide Skarmish's identity, right? Because Katsuragi found them first, and they were and they were pretty much like very close friends, almost like brothers, actually. And I think the sword that he made is the Inazuman Forge weapon. That is, is one of the five Forge weapons you can make for in in Inazuma, the Claymore one. I think it's called the Katsuragi Katsuragi. Nagamasa, I think that's what it's called specifically. The claim one, I'll show you later. Apart from the sword maker, his servant, and the one who wrote this all down, the records also mention a kabuki mono. Oh, there we go. This seems to be an Inazuma. Now, kabuki mono has never been mentioned stranger. once, by the way. Someone who dresses funny. Or I mean, this was his. This was probably his way. original true That's name. Right. Original original Akira's name. His teacher has spent quite some time researching these events on the ground. This Kabuki Mono lived in Tatara Suna for a while before disappearing without a trace. And shortly afterwards, as Akaba mentioned, things got pretty ugly. So first this strange person goes missing, then a murder happens? Garmin should know about that because he mm, should have seems kind of some knowledge of Katsuraki at yes, all. Yes, my thoughts exactly. So I right. helped out too. Any information about this? Everyone I could think of if they knew anything about what happened back then. And wow! Did I get lucky? Wow. You shout a lot too, I just wanted to make mind. it stand out. It just wow. so happens that a That's friend funny. of mine works at the government records office. He looked into it for me, and I can now confirm that all the aforementioned individuals did, in fact, live in Inazuma over 400 years ago. Even back then, Tatara Suna was already at the center of Inazuma's smelting industry. The man in charge was a government official whoa, named whoa, whoa. Miwa. Whoa. Curiously enough, it seems like he went missing too. Wait, Miwa? Could it be? Wait, so there are two missing people in the story now? Well, I'm curious, are they gonna be canon? Niwa is a name with a lot of history to it. Yes. Have you ever heard of the great swordsmith clans of Inazuma? Oh. Niwa Yoshinori. Yeah, um, like Ishin art and so on? Oh, you know what you're wow, really curious about, yes. actually? You really know your stuff. That makes things easier. So, basically, this Niwa was a distant relative of the Kaidahara clan. The That's they got connected. Of Ishin art. Okay, I forgot to mention something else about this as well. To do this door quest, you need to do Cosmo's character door quest as well. And that's very curious. Now, Cosmo's character door quest is pretty much a retelling of the story of the Eridori Festival main story quest. With, and the Eridori Festival is a temporary event in 2.6. Now, I did Eridori Festival and recorded it as well. Are they going to canonize this and take this into effect? Or are they only going to get the information from the Kaidahara character Cosmo's story quest? And if the Arctic information from the Eridori Festival, how how much will it change depending on if you have done 2.6 or not? Because Eridori Festival, because Kazuwa never mentioned Niwa once. And Traveler comments, comments on Niwa specifically when he first mentions it. Does that disappear if I don't do 2.6? Because we would not know about Niwa at all if it wasn't for Eridori. Curious Something now. then seems to have happened in the Kaidahara clan leading to their downfall. I don't know the details, but taken in light of everything else going on around that time, 
Farmers is revenge, yeah. Or Kunikusuji is revenge, technically. Sawada, you left out the biggest detail of all. You should remember this traveler. But then again, we only know about Kunikusuji's um destruction of the Rider Goku then because of Resort Festival. Kaidaro's um character story plus never mentions um Kunikusuji once. Oh yes, of course. How could I forget? Brace your minds, ladies and gents, for they are about to be blown. Or maybe you won't believe your ears. I wouldn't blame you, of course, because in all my years as a writer, this is by far. He's so the extra. Get to the point, for Pete's sake. According to information acquired by Akaba's teacher, the Kabuki Mono was not a human. There we go. And this is where he's. This is where we connect the dots. And Prince Pima can figure this out too. A puppet. We should know exactly who this is. The Shogun, Shogun puppet, puppet that the Electro Archon, Archon made should be ruling in this with her as we speak. It, it couldn't be her. her. The Kabuki Mono has, has to be the Balladeer, but what were they doing 400 years ago in Katarasuna? Aha! Judging by the looks on your faces, you do know something after all. Well, we know of uh, a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is so funny. The Eater is like, shut up, Paimon. And it's exactly, and, like, thing is, like, if I was Eater, I would literally tell Paimon to shut her mouth. And of course, I'm I'm so glad we share the same brain cell here, Eater. I'm so glad. We are at Paimon and I hope she keeps her mouth shut. Uh, no! Paimon just meant, uh, <laughs> how creepy. The way you described it makes it sound like a ghost story. The less people that know about him, the better. It does. But considering that non-human races in Inazuma are by no means uncommon, spooky events are to be expected. And that's exactly what my book is about. Please, take a look. Zawada I'm curious. Was encouraging me to follow his more that's a lot. approach, but I think essay that, should that's be like information in I don't think explaining everything away with mysterious forces will cut it. Oh, how about if I plug the holes in Sawana's narrative with political intrigue? Like, that um, long I could like put a turf minutes. war between rival kidding? factions at the center of the whole series of events. Wait, you're allowed to just make stuff up? Pretty sure you've gone from essay to guess a there. You mean theory? You mean theories? Has, has this, this guy, guy ever, ever even written an essay, essay before? before? Akaba, look. Your teacher has researched this extensively. I've reached out to everyone I could think of. Whatever information we have now is all that there is to know. This is as much detail as you're ever going to get. Unless you talk to the Besides, person itself. If there really was a political power struggle going on at anything like the level you seem to be suggesting, what hope He's would be? He's a ever theorist like us. The truth? Uh, good point. Okay, back to the drawing board, I guess. Uh, give me some time. I need to find a new angle on this. I'll leave you to it. We have some other stuff to do, so we'll have to say goodbye for now. Good luck with your essay. All right, thank you. If you find out any more info about all this, please do let me know. So this pr this Thanks dialogue so is pretty much just an information dump of everything that we need to know to that would need be needed to establish um the knowledge that we would have about Skarmish's hey, backstory. So about it has to do with the balladeer doesn't it yeah so i'm so yeah that dialogue i guess is a way of implementing all the optional stuff that we probably did not read i did though because i was against the garbage way earlier and it just all clumped into like one huge like block of reading of reading material that you can just read giving the traveler the information that we would have and finally we can now talk to Skarmouche properly. Hopefully. Okay, then, even if we did know something about it, we probably couldn't share it with them, huh? No, no, we can't. After all, we kicked his butt and got him locked up. Information about people like that is usually super confidential, isn't it? If you ask Paimon, Akaba should just pick a different topic. There must be as many essay topics as there are trees in the forest. There's no point in... Oh, hello. What's wrong? Hey, did you see that? He literally just went by over there. It looked like, like, 
Yeah, that's no mistake in it. No, it can't have been. He got locked up. Oh, quick, let's catch up and see. Garmush, buddy, how are you? How are you doing? You, uh, yeah, you're you're supposed to be locked up right now, so come here. Wait, thanks your service, Donna. Oh, I'm maybe it's going back home. I don't know. This is where Nahida is. I haven't, haven't been to this, this. I haven't been this place in a long. I. You too. Hey, Nahida. Traveler Paimon, there you are. Been a long time. Nahida, bad news. We just saw the balladier strolling oh, around in um, public. Paimon. Look to your right. There you go. I mean, love. Sorry. Hmm. Sure enough, you're here. Hey, buddy. Hey, what are you doing in the sanctuary of Sir Astana? Aren't you supposed to be locked up? I know you must have a lot of questions. Please allow me to explain. It was my Please. idea to set the balladeer free. We made a deal, and he's gonna do some investigation in Ermin's soul for me. Ermin's soul. You sure you trust this guy? What did you expect? Why do you think Sumero would keep me around otherwise? Or maybe killing me is all you can think about. But if that's, that's the case... That's what think about, but not Why me. haven't you done it already? Don't flatter yourself. It was... Nahida said there's still some mysteries in you to figure out. <laughs> ah, so if it were up to you, you'd finish the job? Guess I had you all wrong. There I was thinking you were just getting cold feet. <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. Not a good start. Could I ask you all to please calm down? Oh, I'm on to calm down. I'm not me. I'm worried about you, Nikita. Don't let him trick you. <laughs> it's not every day you see people questioning the God of Wisdom's judgment. Just when you think you've seen it all. Don't you dare try to drive a wedge between us! He's not! As long as the terms are reasonable, I don't think there's a problem in making a deal. Even with the balladeer. Well, I, I smart, for one, though. have no reason to doubt you. Considering you even struck a deal... Oh, you know about that deal, too? Yes. One in which I gained valuable information. You'll come to understand more about that in the fullness of time. The Paladier's power was all Actually, no, wish you were told about it. after your battle. He's no longer strong enough to be a strategic threat to us. That puts him in quite Does, a He doesn't even have a delusion position. at all? Plus, he's a former harbinger with knowledge of many of the Fatui's sensitive secrets. Being stuck here in Sumeru could make him a sitting duck, depending on how the Fatui plan to respond. Wait a second. Former? You mean no, he left. He's not a harbinger anymore? I'm pretty sure he did. I take no pleasure in saying this, but it seems as if the doctor had no intention of welcoming back a loser, so... That is the, that is the most cruelest thing you can say. Sometimes it's you using them, other times it's them using you. Most human relationships are this way. Certainly all the stable ones are. That's how it was between me and the Fatui. And also between each of the Harbingers. So as long as you have some value to offer, nobody will ever abandon you. But after recent events, even I have to admit that I'm not you're in... quite what I used to be. But you're rank six. Surely the total you have more ha will have more uses with you though, right? You wanna just let go of a rank six harbinger, especially after one of their harbingers died, no less. Also also wait, let me wait, hold on, hold on. Particularly a loss of fight in leeway. Then your lost fight in Sumeru and she died for it. And you lost against the fight in Sumeru. Against us in Sumeru. How come you- How come you get kicked out but Tartaglia still gets- Still gets to come back? And you're like way higher ranked than him. That makes no sense. And does ranking even matter in Harbinger- In Harbinger's at all? Cause that still makes this make sense at all. Cause if Nahida, Nahida mentions in the previous story, in the previous Arkham quest, Biedo, Colombina, and Tore are like our top three in Carpenters, and they can rival gods. 
I guess to them only they matter and everyone else below them just does not, which is weird. I, I don't understand how the harbingers work that way. Like, I, I guess they're just disconnected. Really? What a crying shame. <laughs> well, if the Fatui are going to reevaluate my utility, I need to have a backup plan for myself. As we discussed, I don't like causing harm to living beings, and you said you need protection. So, why not join forces with us? I think these two have made their objection to that idea fairly clear, don't you? And they're your friends, so I guess you'll be siding with them. Yeah, obviously! Nishida, don't listen to him! Then let's put that discussion to the side for now. How is it that- We still have time. Okay, I also, one more thing to clarify. How is it that you're still okay with siding with Tartaglia and, uh, and you're, fine with, you're okay with him being friends with you? And he was about to drown Leeway. How is Scaramouche any different? In my opinion. Like, like, let's be honest here. How is Scaramouche any different? Is it because of is, is it because of what Scaramouche intended to be was a lot more severe than Tartaglia? I guess? Today can be a trial run. Where we go from here will depend on how like, I don't get that to cooperate logic. Alright, then I'll do what we agreed. Good. Go now and keep in touch. Nihira, are you uh, are you serious about this? Yes. I have my reasons for this decision. In fact, I'm largely doing it for your benefit. For me? Yes. As I told you once before. There's information about right. the soul. You can learn more oh, about that. Yeah. Actually, that's the whole reason we came to see you today. So, you have an update on that? Mm-hmm. You may remember me mentioning that the Fatui had not included your twin's details in they have the not included, category. by the way. This is an extremely Not included. Point. So, that's it's the one confirmed. It's possible that the Fatui have other information that even I don't know about. And since the Balladeer used to be one of them, He'll be better acquainted with this information than I am. So the Fatui... So, by the way, context of... Because you need to know about Act 5, right? Um, context is the fact that Lumin, the Abyss sibling, is not one of the four Descenders. Now, Descenders are people not from the Divot. Like Aether, slash me. And the Heavenly Principles. The Fatui did not list Lumin as the Descender. At all. So, the, and the thing is... I don't know if that confirm. I don't know if that T confirms that Lumine is the descender or not. I don't know what is confirmed or not because I don't know. Something tells me something happened with Lumine that caused it to, to not become a descender. Because that still makes no sense for it to not be a descender at all. So whatever happened with Lumine, the Futuri does know about this. That's a fact, and there's a reason why. He was not listed as the sender. Keyword not listed as the sender. It doesn't mean she is she isn't the sender. She's just not listed as one. So that's very curious. He was granted the power to connect with Ermin Soul when he almost became the god of a new era. Even though he no longer has the Gnosis, some traces of its power remain in him. He can still connect. He's a the god puppet of after all. in Ermansol is vast beyond description. Sifting through all of it without knowing what to look for would take too long, even for me. So I asked the Balladeer to search in Ermansol for any information about the Descenders. He's more familiar with this kind of information and should be able to find it more quickly. What if he lies to you? Exactly! Or what if you all of two times, Paimon. Or three, actually. But sometimes, everything is dictated by which side you're on. Oh, crap! How things will go in the future depends on what information he brings back. And Traveler? I there know isn't a side in this world. Most of all. Our minds have connected several times before. There is a corner of your heart reserved for an intense longing. A feeling of being all alone in the dark, searching for the one candle whose light still burns. It's crazy how some is going as really deep into deep, this. It is my responsibility to be on guard against no. the deer. 
But as someone who counts you as a friend, not the United, the random I shall. I want to do something for you. If this deal with the Balladeer can give you the answers you've been longing to find, then it's worth it. Keep in mind, this is Nahida, who sees herself as the original Dendro Archon that lost her power and came back. Because Rukhtavata doesn't exist anymore, at all. Only I remember her. No one else. I won't remember Rukhtavata now. So I'm curious. Why is Rukh going so deep in with this? When we know we only have like, when we have like three nations left, they're gonna be just as big, if not bigger. What is Fontaine gonna give us? What is Notlin gonna give us? What is Nai gonna give us? Like, why is Meru going so deep in? And despite being a nation of wisdom, I understand that. But why? Especially with Nermis, though. Something that's. You can see end game story potential. Why now? At the climax. Thank you, Nahida. It's my pleasure, really. You're Sumeru's hero. You've more than earned it. Hmm. Paimon's still worried about this idea. Is there anything we can do to help? I was going to contact you about that, but then you suddenly showed up on your own accord. It seems like we have a telepathic connection. In fact, mm. I was going to ask you to supervise the Balladeer on my behalf while he carries out the task I assigned. Even though he only has a fraction of his full power left, that's still a fraction of a former Harbinger. If you could accompany him, it would put my mind at ease. Of course, I'll be there to help guide you through Ermin Soul from the outside. I'm glad I'll be. I'm glad to be able to help. Great, thank you. That's weird. That's weird. Prepare yourselves. I'm going to transport you into Ermin Soul. All right, we haven't been there in a while, so 